How's it going, Tiger here? Um, so today I went shopping because um, I just wanted to show people coming to Japan that are vegan that you do have options here and you don't have to worry too much. So this is a vegan haul video. Let's just get started. So these are kind of like, they're kind of like those Golden Puff cereals, but really big. They're pretty good. You get them like eat chips, completely vegan. Um, a little hard to see. Coconut milk um, ice cream sandwich. There's no milk in this or anything like that, so it's completely vegan. This is pretty much brand new. Of course, nacho, beans. This is like a 50-50 chance if you like it. Most foreigners don't, I do. So natto, vegan. It's fermented beans, meaning aged beans. <clears throat> Tofu Hamburg, okay? It's a little expensive, but it's pretty good and it's worth it. You get two, two patties. So you can eat one for dinner, eat one for lunch the next day. It's, it's worth it, I feel like. Here's a new, another new item that like was not here even a year ago. Soy chocolate ice cream. This was like $1.30, very cheap. And it tastes just like normal ice cream. It's really good, completely vegan. <coughs> Sorry, I'll quit saying completely vegan. Anyways, gelat. So this is kind of like more of a sorbet or sherbet or whatever. But this is brand new too. It's pretty good. Soba, of course. Soba is like the cousin to the wheat noodle. Um, but, you know, you can eat this. Soba or ramen all noodles. You can pretty much eat any noodles, really. Actually, you gotta be careful. They do have egg noodles, I think. Okay. Different flavor. This is a strawberry version. I just want to show there's different flavors. So they have vanilla, strawberry, chocolate, and they had matcha ice cream, but it's all soy milk, not normal milk. American junk food wise, Doritos, completely vegan. You can eat these. Or Cheetos, they had those there too. These are called Simba. I can't say. Sorry. These are called Simbe. They're rice crackers. Um, you can eat these. Just rice. This is uh, melon. Melon milk. It's not. It's a, it's a type of soy milk. It's Japanese style, so you can check it out. Melon. Melon's like a type of kind of nut type of thing. I'll explain it. You'll see when you get here. So, then America has started introducing products to here. This is uh, almond milk chocolate. This was probably like 95, no, 75 cents. This is soy cocoa milk. So, the almond breeze has finally come here this year, like literally six months ago. So you're gonna find more and more vegan stuff popping up in Japan. Banana soy milk, it's pretty good. Of course, veggies. Keep in mind, uh, fruits in Japan are really expensive. It's kind of that's the only sucky thing. Um, I eat bananas every day. It's not too bad. Bananas and blueberries. Uh, this is in the already made section. This was probably about three bucks. This is tofu with a, a special type of potato that's really good. Now he has like you know sauce. So it's already cooked. So this is really good. But like the hamburg, you can just get tofu itself. It's Tofu here is really cheap. So, yeah, you can get things already made, or if you're a cook, you can get things, you know, you can cook with, like tofu and stuff like that. So it's very, very, I'm not gonna say easy to be vegan here, but it's possible, okay? I mean, when you go out to sushi, they got tons of veggie sushi you can get. So it, it's possible. So don't worry too much. The one detail, like I said, is, is Fruits are expensive. That that kind of sucks. So, like the natto beans. 
So you can get these beans. They're not fermented or nothing. These are like sweet beans you can put on rice. And it's, it's actually really good. I would say this is probably better than natto. And this costs like a dollar, a dollar twenty or something like that. So, so you, you, you have a lot of options here. This, this is new. I'm going to try this now. You have a, like I said, you have a lot of options here. You should never worry too much. I mean, if there's a way, you'll find a way. But Japan is slowly transitioning into the, the vegan area more. And plus, like, they already have tons and tons of options, like veggie-wise and stuff. So that's that's really good. And veggies are cheap. So let's try this coconut ice cream sandwich. I haven't had an ice cream sandwich in, like, years. Very good. This was only like two dollars but keep in mind it's kind of like a specialty item so yeah veganism itself is like kind of spreading in japan so but everything in japan always spreads slowly so i've already tried the ice creams the ice creams taste these taste just like ice cream when i was in america i was eating uh soy ice cream but it was like really too sweet i thought i mean it was still good but it's just too sweet this is not too sweet it tastes just like normal ice cream and it's not like over sugared so it's really good of course it's coconut so if you don't like coconut it's not gonna be good for you and they, they do have coconut milk here too so it's a little harder to find in the almond milk and the soy milk, but they do have coconut milk. Soy milk is probably the, you can find that anywhere. Anyways, that's it for this video. I just wanna give you guys a little uh, heads up so you guys don't worry if you're coming to Japan and, and you're vegan.